now coming to the exam pattern so total there will be three uh, test will be for three hours diploma CET maximum marks will be 180 marks so out of this 40 marks will be given to applied mathematics which is common to all branches uh, 40 marks will be given to applied science which is common to all branches so 80 marks are covered through common subjects which is applicable to all branches and then the engineering paper which I said based on your branch which you are doing in diploma uh, which is aeronautical ceramics civil <coughs> chemical computers electronics communications uh, ece and uh, mechanical mining textile so based on that 100 marks paper will be there and separate question paper for all the engineering subjects will be there so if you are attending civil then you will get a civil paper if you are attending electronics you will get electronics paper so 100 marks will be dedicated to that and all of these questions will be the multiple choice questions only so hope you have got understood the syllabus part of it 40 marks of um, plus 40 and 100 at 180 marks total and each question carries one marks each now how do you prepare for the examinations right so for the your engine your main branch you have already covered through your engineering subjects which you studied in diploma six semesters right but for your applied science and engineering mathematics you have to refer some books and guides right so i'll say you can find this book which is applied the dpdcet applied science and engineering mathematics and this is by savina jp rakesh roshan and somewhere so you can buy this book and prepare for those first 80 marks now who can apply so for the be courses a candidate who has passed diploma or equivalent examination with minimum 45 percent of marks so and uh, for this your fifth and the sixth semester marks will be taken into consideration and i will tell how the fifth and sixth semester marks of diploma will be considered will be total and to find out that if you have secured 45 percent or not so that is for the day examination similar same qualification is for the uh, you know evening colleges so there are two colleges day, day colleges evening college also same 45 percent in your criteria marks and 40 percent for the SCST and backward category so if you are SCST backward your 40 percent uh, you should be marks should be there and 45 percent for general category now also there will be admission to BR courses but the BR student will get admission to first year of BR not the third semester like what engineering students will get and for them only day engineering colleges are available and if you see for the BR students the aggregate marks which is required in diploma engineering will be 50 percent so you should be considering 50 percent in your fifth and sixth semesters to get admission to this but for the SCST category it will be five percent less which will be around 45 percent and that along the, with this uh, you uh, for diploma for architecture students you should also write the nata conducted exam called national aptitude test for architecture which is nata and you should score minimum 40 percent marks in the nata exam so basically you have three criteria first 50 percent qualifying criteria which is you should get in your architectural courses in the diploma level then you should also write the nata exam and you should uh, secure 40 percent marks right now coming to the other I, I mentioned right there will be a Kannada language test which will be conducted for government seats under Hornadu or Gadanadu Kannadiga classes right so there are two type categories of students from Hornadu district and Gadanadu area where they will be uh, allowed to have, ad have ad additional benefits of, of you know reservations so they have to pass the Kannada language test with 12 out of 50 marks so they should earn 12 out of 50 marks in Kannada language test to qualify and claim that uh, reservation benefits so that's for the Kannada language test for the Kannada students of those two regions so now this is how I was saying that uh, qualify, qualifying criteria of 45% for BE course or 50% for BR course will be calculated based on this formula. So basically they will take sum of marks scored by candidates in final year which is 5th and the 6th semester of your diploma course divided by sum of maximum marks which is allowed in that 5th and 6th semester. So a percentage will be calculated only on the 5th and 6th semesters for the consideration of qualifying criteria for the DCE. Now I'll talk about the fees exemption for a certain category of students. So for SCST, if you are a, a SCST candidates of Karnataka, if annual income is below 2.5 lakh, candidates will be getting exempted from paying 100% of the fees in the government and the aided private colleges, right? So if it is a government aided, unaided, private, deemed university, you will be completely you don't have to pay any fees for income below 2.5 lakhs if your income is between 2.5 lakhs to 10 lakhs then again 
कैंडिडेट्स एग्जेप्टेड पेइंग हंड्रेड परसेंट ऑफ फीस इन द गवर्नमेंट एडेड अन एडेड प्राइवेट डीम्ड यूनिवर्सिटी एज पर द गवर्नमेंट ऑर्डर नंबर राइट सो 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 फॉर ऑल द एस सी एस सी स्टूडेंट्स फीस एग्जामेशन इज देयर इफ यू आर इन द कैटेगरी वन स्टूडेंट विथ यू नो योर एनुअल इनकम बिलो टू पॉइंट फाइव लैक्स देन यू इन द गवर्नमेंट कॉलेज यू आर कंप्लीटली एग्जेप्टेड फ्रॉम पेइंग एनी फीस बट इन द प्राइवेट कॉलेज यू विल हैव गेट सम एग्जामेशन इक्वल टू गवर्नमेंट कॉलेज एंड द रेस्ट ऑफ द फीस विच इज देयर एप्लीकेबल इन प्राइवेट कॉलेज यू हैव टू पे तो ओनली डिफरेंस ऑफ द फीस बिटवीन द एग्जेप्टेड अमाउंट यू हैव टू पे इन द प्राइवेट कॉलेज इन गवर्नमेंट कॉलेज कंप्लीटली फ्री ओके सो बट नाउ क्वेश्चन इज दैट फॉर क्लेमिंग ऑल दिस टाइप ऑफ रिजर्वेशन बेनिफिट्स फॉर एस सी एस टी वन ए एंड देर आर बेनिफिट्स फॉर वन ए टू टू ए टू बी थ्री ए थ्री बी यू हैव टू प्रोड्यूस योर इनकम एंड द कास्ट सर्टिफिकेट राइट सो फॉर ऑल द कैटेगरीज लाइक वट आई सेड लाइक एस सी एस टी वन ए टू ए टू बी यू हैव टू प्रोड्यूस योर कास्ट कैटेगरीज एंड अटैच दैट एज पार्ट ऑफ योर एप्लीकेशन the detailed videos on all of the categories for submission of you know claiming the benefits i'll cover the different uh, another video with document sets required so watch my second video and thanks for watching this and uh, if you want any other clarity please write to me and please do subscribe this channels to get more details cut off and everything about the dct counseling process and also you can find on my channel the 2020 cut offs as well as i have reviewed 100 plus engineering colleges for your benefits thanks Hello friends good morning good afternoon good evening so this is my second video on the diploma cet and hope you have seen my first video which was very elaborate on the you know terms of the you know exam paper books required and um, different uh, starting categories of the reservations now on this video i'm going to category talk about the reservations of seats in the special category which is also applicable apart from the gender from the caste based category so this will be mostly cover on those non caste based category reservations which we can utilize so let's start at so this is the first you do you can claim the reservation under the ncc category right so if you have participated in any republic day uh, you know republic day event and the candidates who have participated uh, you know through karnataka and who possess the certificate between any last five period between class 8 to class 12th for ex for all india thal sainik group or thal sainik camp for girls or boys or all india now sainik camp and all india vayu sainik camp vsc then all those cadets can claim the reservations under the you know ncc category right so that's a first category and there will be you know if you possess uh, b certificate right during the your study which is karnataka preference will will be ncc b with uh, gold silver preference 2 will be you know ncc b with youth exchange program preference c will be ncc b certificate participated republic days fourth will be ncc b with all india best cadet category fifth preference 5 will be ncc b we having gold silver bronze in any team events in the camp mentioned in the preference 4 right so then there will be preference 6 which will be ncc b having attended all india thal sainik camp boys girls uh, preference 7 will be ncc b certificate having participated in adventure activity like cycling um, for more than 5000 1500 kilo or motor more than 3500 a uh, preference 8 will be for candidates only uh, with only b category so they are not qualifying in any of this 1 to 7 categories right so that will they can fill with but with the valid ncc b certificate So that's all NCC covered. Now you're talking about the sports quota. So again, for the sports quota, also if you have won the uh, cups and medals for the country, then th those will be in the category Super A Games. So you know those students and it should be from the last five years between class eighth to, to class twelfth. Uh, you should have participated in Super um, One Medal. Then you can apply under the reservation provided in the sports category. now the c1 is a reservation for the defense category again you should be you know for defense category you know you should be claiming uh, you should be uh, you know there will be a document verification if you are a you know, son to you know of a daughter of a defense personnel uh, in different categories on class 1 class 2 or class 4 category sorry class 3 class 4 category of uh, you know and then you will have to that there is a different criteria mentioned and you can claim the reservations under the defense category as well then there is a duv saying right reservation for ex defense so if you are even uh, not the current one but the uh, son or daughter of the serviceman who are ex defenses then you also you can 
claim the cat you know your reservation under 6h of the chapter and you can read the brochure about the details documents or uh, which are required and it could be civilian class 3 or class 4 government servants who uh, who were also permanently disabled or killed during hostilities and those students those uh, children will also be considered now this is the next category e which is reservation for physically hand disabled right so if you are physically disabled you know uh, with a disability uh, more than 40% you will be considered for this quota so if your disability is less than 40% of the quota you will not get these seats the next is f is the reservation for central armed forces so you have a son or daughter of a central army uh, of india and under class o of the sixth chapter you will be covered and you have to produce your certificate and g is you also see the reservations for the ex central arm po armed police forces right so so for them also you it's you know there's the call class o where all you know you will be covered and you can read about you will get the details in the brochure and uh, then according to you have to create your certificates and showcase or upload to claim uh, this category right so and the next is the reserved category so this i have mentioned in the previous video also and uh, now here so this uh, for this category you know you have to produce your uh, complete uh, certificates for category 1 2a 2b 3a 3b sc st and all right so whichever category you belong you have to produce your caste certificates and provide that data into your application form to claim that benefit there is a reservation for rural candidates also 15% of government seats will be reserved horizontally in favor of rural candidates and who have studied 10 full academic years from class 1 to class 12 class 10th in karnataka right so those rural candidates will have that rural benefits so you have to again produce your certificates uh, to claim benefit in this category next is you know reservation in the kannada medium candidate so 5% of all the government seats will be reserved horizontally in favor of the kannada medium candidates and so if you are uh, basically a kannada candidate you can claim your benefits and uh, you will have to produce again the 10 years continuous certificate for class 1 to 10th standard and provide as part of the application form and the uh, reference document verification process and this is the last category which i am covering is basically uh, for the hyderabad karnataka region under the article 371j if you are belonging to borders areas like from hyderabad karnataka region which is bidar gulbarga yadgir raichur kopal bellari you will be able to claim you know 70% of available seats in that that particular region will be blocked for you only and reserved for you so you can produce a proper document in an aksher a and you can claim that quota So thanks friends for watching this and hope you have now complete idea about the exam as well as the different reservation categories and thanks for watching and please do like and subscribe this channel to get more details on counseling etc